Hey everyone, thanks for watching. It's uh, it's getting to be about almost six o'clock, so the sun is uh, starting to hide behind the Chuckwalla mountain range, and uh, luckily the temperatures are starting to drop. Uh, when I arrived earlier this afternoon, probably a few hours ago, it was definitely like 95 degrees, which if I had gotten here earlier in the morning like I usually do for these videos, uh, I would have had to suffer through the whole day, which would have been too much. But uh, luckily I arrived late afternoon, and uh, now it's start starting to cool down. It's actually quite comfortable. And overnight I anticipate it's going to be in the 70s, so it should be uh, quite a relaxing evening. Also, I'm starting to work on dinner, and uh, tonight I'm making uh, chicken curry over rice, which will be delicious. And uh, it's going to be a simple dinner. Um, it's actually just one of those uh, pre-made curry pouches. You just cook the rice and uh, heat up the curry in some uh, boiling water and pour the curry on the rice and it will be perfect. This is the uh, curry I'm talking about. It's SMB Golden Curry, and it's pretty good stuff. It's a lot better than a lot of the uh, the freeze-dried camp meals that you can get out there. So all you gotta do is just start boiling the water and just put it in there. Let it warm up. I ended up mixing the uh, the chicken in with the rice, kind of warm it up a little bit, and just dumping the curry sauce on top. Looks delicious. I think my uh, my methodology going forward with these videos, though, is the simpler the better. Like there might be times where I end up uh, cooking something a little bit more elaborate. Like tomorrow, I'm going to do a kind of elaborate breakfast. But the problem being is the more elaborate you get, the more cleanup you're going to have to deal with, and really my goal for coming out here like if I'm doing a video or I'm doing photography I want to be able to focus on that instead of the cleanup aspect so and of course that's also part of the reason why I want to build out my truck camper and uh, build a platform bed with uh, a kitchen drawer because then I won't have to worry about pulling bins out of uh, bins out of the back of the truck digging through a bin trying to find a pot or a pan or some kitchen utensil um, if I can just build something where I pull it out all my utensils are there my camp stove is there I think that is going to be uh, for the best and it'll make it easier for me to film also it's going to be a full moon tonight too so 
the moon is starting to rise now, and I'm kind of realizing that might actually hinder my plans for tonight for doing some kind of astrophotography. There is also supposed to be a meteor shower tonight, but given the full moon situation, I highly doubt I'm going to see much of anything. But since it's going to be very, uh, it'll be a nice, comfortable, relaxing evening, I won't have any problems just sitting out here for several hours, you know, just to, just to watch and observe. And... It's almost nothing better than a desert sunset. Just look at all those colors. May not be able to even see the sun from the valley that we're in, but absolutely beautiful. I see clouds to the east, and uh, they've kind of obscured the moon. So I'm gonna have to double check the weather just to make sure that there isn't gonna be any inclement weather situation tonight. Hey guys, I'm up early at sunrise, and uh, I just slept in more, but unfortunately I didn't really get great sleep last night, and I'm going to blame that on the fact that I forgot pillows. So I tried uh, fashioning a pillow out of uh, a towel that ended up working, but I, I really didn't get that much sleep. So. I'm uh, starting to work on heating up water for coffee, and uh, I'm going to end up make, making breakfast here soon, and uh, before it gets too warm, I'm going to try to get everything packed up, and uh, we'll head out.
Alright guys, would you look at that? I think this is probably my first successful breakfast on one of these trips. It's a hash brown egg scramble. It looks delicious. Oh wow, that's delicious. I think probably another part of the reason why I couldn't sleep last night is just sometimes the silence itself is unnerving, you know? It's just so quiet up here. Occasionally you'll hear like a stray breeze, but There are absolutely no sounds. Didn't even hear any coyotes or any other wildlife. Heard a couple of bats, but last night just after sunset when I was doing some photography for the miner's cabin over there, I got a little freaked out because I heard something hitting the top of the tin metal roof on, on the outside patio portion of it. And I go over there and investigate, and it's actually like a bat that's that was trapped in there. <laughs> so that was a little bit eerie, you know, hearing nothing else other than just like this flapping noise against against the metal roof. It was a little spooky.
As you can see, I managed to make it back down to the interstate from Corn Springs Road. So if you're still watching this video all the way through, through to the end, I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, constructive criticism, ideas for other future locations for me to film at, please be sure to uh, tell me in the comments below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.